some off-road campers come in very small packages which gives us unique situations about how to fit in the power and what to do. Um, this one's been in for a couple of weeks now and what we've done, we've put the power system in where the old power system was, we've given it a very large battery, we've also put in an air conditioning system, hot and cold from Truma that goes under a bunk and some solar up on the roof. Let's jump around to the other side and have a quick look at that power system. So given the unique space constraints that we have here, we've been able to squeeze in a 235 compact lithium battery, and that's giving us a good 230 amp hours of lithium power. The projector system that was in here, we had to rearrange and remove that, put in a shelf, just so we could get all this power into one place. We've got a Bluetooth shunt, we've got a large inverter fuse, We've got the normal fusing. We also have DC-DC charging and an MPPT solar controller to cover those two by 200 panels on the roof. If we go inside and have a quick look at the power panel, and I can also show you that Truma air conditioning. So on the inside, before we go and have a look at the power panel, uh, I just wanted to show you what we did with the fridge. We changed over to this Bushman fridge because it's a 12 volt unit. And the three way that was in there wasn't gonna work for the way that they operate. They get up and they drive every day and then they stop and they drive every day. So in those cases, you need to go to a 12 volt rather than the three way fridge. So it's a really nice unit, 85 liters. You know, it's ample for two people really. We also put in the um, Sorocco fans they're such a good unit and that'll keep the air flowing and then they only need to use their air conditioner as a last ditch when it's really, really hot. Let's have a look at the panel. So here's the power panel just showing the customer what they've got. Uh, it's got the projector unit in, so we put that back into place. We've also hidden an Enerdrive inverter. I'll show you where that's hidden in a moment. The 240's in place and the hot water system's up here. I've just put the remote for the Truma aircon up here as well, and I'll show you that down in the cupboard down below. But the inverter, here she is. She's hidden in behind the switch panel here. So it's a 2600, and this will allow them to run some aircon for a short amount of time. It'll also allow them to use their microwave and everything else they wanted to use, as well as that Truma air conditioner. So under the lounge area is the Truma air conditioner. We had some challenges putting it in, but we found this spot was the best. Um, it's a really good unit because it does hot and cold, reverse cycle, which is rare. Um, the rooftop units do take up a lot of space, and this way they've got more space for solar, and they still get their air conditioner as well. We've run the piping. There's one that goes to the front, one that goes under my feet, and another one that goes on the other side of the van, and that should help the circulation go around really good. These are a really great unit, very cost effective, particularly if you have a small van.